unrestrained development that began in the wake of the first industrial revolution allowed the world to progress leaps and bounds in the last 200 years. But as Newton found out that for every action, there's an equal or opposite reaction. The same happened to us and our world. The cost of unrestrained development powered by fossil fuels came to bite us in the form of global warming and the damage to the climate that we unknowingly inflicted upon the Earth during this time. Although it will still take many decades to shift completely to renewable sources of power and a sustainable way of life, it's good to see that the G20 countries, which are some of the biggest economies in the world right now, have pledged to invest almost as much into sustainable sources of energy as they are currently investing into fossil-based sources of energy. There is a conscious effort coming from all the stakeholders to gradually shift the world to a more sustainable way of life. While it may take decades to completely adopt renewable sources of energy, there are a lot of inventions that are contributing in their own way towards saving our Earth. In today's video, we will be taking a deeper look into some of these exciting inventions to see just how critical they could be in re our planet. But before we start, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos like this. Let's get started. Number 1. The Ocean Cleanup Foundation One of the major pollutants on Earth right now are plastics. They are non-biodegradable, they cause pollution, and when we dump plastic into the sea, it creates all sorts of hazards for marine life. We all use plastics in one form or the other, but what most people don't know is just how long it takes to properly dispose of plastics. For example, plastic water bottles can take up to 450 years, disposable diapers can take up to 500 years, and extruded polystyrene foam can take an insane 5,000 years to properly decompose. Even when we dispose of these properly, they don't degrade for centuries. They end up either in landfill sites or in the ocean causing irreparable damage to the environment. As a result, a few people have come up with ingenious ways to clean the oceans and make them safe for marine life again. The Ocean Cleanup is a foundation set up by a 23-year-old Dutch man named Boyan Slot. He's come up with a way of creating a V-shaped barrier to trap plastic pollutants as they float with the current of the sea. The best thing about the method developed by Boyan is that it's a passive cleanup method which means that it doesn't use any energy. Instead, it relies on the natural energy produced by the ocean tides and the wind. This passive cleanup system means that the cost of using the system is very low and its efficiency is very high. The system comprises a line of long floaters that provide buoyancy, a net attached to the floaters that extends under the water to catch the floating debris and the pollutants. A sea anchor adds weight to the whole system and prevents it from moving with the same speed as the pollutants, thus catching the trash and the pollutants. The trash is then sorted, recycled, and used to create more floaters, nets, and sea anchors to clean the oceans and rivers. The Foundation claims to clean up to 50% of the great garbage patch in the Pacific Ocean in this manner within the next five years. This system has great potential to clean the oceans and return them to their natural state if funded properly. Number 2. The Sea Bin Project This project aims to clean the oceans as well and their method is to use sea bins to collect the plastic-based pollutants. The sea bins act as a filter that causes the water and waste around the bin to get sucked into the sea bin. The water is then filtered through the sea bin with the pollutants getting filtered out. Each sea bin can filter out almost 90,000 plastic bags annually. This is the same as 35,700 disposable plastic cups or 16,500 plastic bottles per year. The sea bins are placed in over 860 locations around the globe and are capable of filtering out around 3,600 tons of pollutants from the sea on a daily basis pretty crazy numbers, to say the least. The next step for the Seabin project is to go public so that the company can raise more finance to fund their operations. They have not taken out any detailed plan about when they are expected to float into the market, but keen investors can register their interest by becoming a shareholder in the project for only $250.
Number three, Avani Eco. While it's good that projects like the Ocean Cleanup and Seabin are cleaning up the oceans, their efforts aren't really going to matter if we keep dumping waste into the oceans at an increasing rate each year. Kevin Kumala, the founder of Avani Eco, came up with a brilliant idea to prevent waste from going to the oceans in the first place. Kevin developed a way to create bags from cassava roots and natural starches. The resultant bag is not just an alternative for plastic bags, but it's also biodegradable and fit for animal consumption and composting. If we can see more and more big brands shifting to clean, biodegradable materials like the stuff made at Avani Eco, this could almost single-handedly fix the current pollution issues we see today. Number 4. Manufract Craft One major problem that's contributing heavily towards global warming is the rapid pace of deforestation. A German concept aims to contribute toward reducing this by repurposing wood for furniture so that new trees don't have to be cut. The idea for Manufract originated from self-healing trees. The German-based designers Marcel Dunger and Florian Mai decided to replicate the self-healing of trees and handcrafted furniture. Manufract is a concept that uses old pieces of wood to create handicrafted furniture and one problem that people come across during the process of repurposing old pieces of wood is that it tends to break down. As wood ages, it gets weaker and thus breaks quite easily. Manufract fills up the old and cracked pieces of wood with an eco-friendly natural resin to imitate the self-healing process of trees. Only hardwood sourced from local forests and carpenters is used for the handcrafted furniture, and since each piece of wood is unique, the resulting furniture is also unique, with no two pieces of manufact furniture resembling each other. Number 5. Leader of Light The Leader of Light may not be a big invention on its own, but it's a simple concept that can help reduce plastic wastage and provide a very low-cost lighting alternative to communities that are underdeveloped and off the grid. The Leader of Light is a simple concept that uses plastic bottles to make very low-cost solar lights that not only work during the day but also at night. This concept allows used plastic bottles to be recycled and used to light up areas that don't have any electricity or supportive infrastructure. The lights are powered through small solar panels. This concept was scaled up in 2017 by corporations such as Pepsi to help out underdeveloped communities in almost 15 countries across the world. The Leader of Light Foundation, with the help of sponsors, has lit up over 350,000 homes worldwide. Single-use plastic is one of the biggest pollutants on Earth. According to a recent study, only America produces 100 billion plastic bags in a single year, and only 1% of these plastic bags are recycled. Over 267 animal species are directly affected by plastics, and over 100,000 marine animals die due to plastic pollutants in the sea each year. These statistics can go on and on. The problem is that we're not doing enough to stop or limit the production or usage of single-use plastics. Number 6. Notpla Startups such as Notpla are trying to tackle this problem by developing biodegradable packaging solutions that can help reduce the demand for single-use plastics. Notpla is a UK-based startup. They've developed a material named Notpla made from seaweeds and plants that's completely biodegradable and disappears naturally. It's an alternative of plastic that can be used for packaging anything from sachet-based products to food boxes. The best thing about their products is that they're also edible, which really broadens the horizons for the potential use cases. Not plant can also be used to package water drinks and other foodstuffs, and since it's edible, people can consume the packaging along with the food, thus leaving no waste at all. Not plow water pods are a good way to carry water without leaving any wastage in the form of plastic bottles, and it looks pretty trendy as well. Not plant is aiming to replace water cups and bottles at sporting events by introducing UHO, which is the edible biodegradable alternative to plastic. Notpla have already been able to remove single-use plastics from the London Marathon. 
Organizers interested in UHO can contact NotPlat for their events. NotPlat is not only fighting to reduce pollution but also providing a zero-waste alternative for those who care about the environment. As mentioned earlier, it is made from seaweed, which doesn't require water or fertilizers. It can grow up to 1 meter per day and doesn't compete with food crops in terms of area or other resources. NotPlat can degrade in 4 to 6 weeks and can also be composted. NotPlat raised almost 850,000 pounds back in April 2018 in just three days through crowdfunding. Later in 2018, NotPlat got funded by a venture capital fund called Sky Ocean Ventures. Since then, NotPlat haven't gone to the public for another round of funding. NotPlat is now focusing on manufacturing heat sealable films, sachets for non food products, and nets for carrying produces. Number 7. Beyond Meat Beyond Meat is a Los Angeles-based startup that produces plant-based substitutes for meat. The venture was founded in 2009 by Ethan Brown. It took them almost three years to research and develop the first meat alternative, chicken-free strips, and make them available for public consumption. Since then, the company hasn't looked back. Today, the company offers products that can be used as alternatives for beef, meatballs, ground meat, pork sausage, and patties. The chicken strips are made from gluten-free flour, soy powder, carrot fiber, and other ingredients. These ingredients are processed together to form a chicken-like texture. Although it's not chicken, but the taste of their chicken strips is close to the real deal. In 2015, Beyond Meat introduced their beef patty. The beef patty, like the chicken strip, is made of a variety of various non-meat-based and non-genetically modified products. The protein and fat content of the beef patties is similar to that of a real beef patty. A single beef patty costs twice as much as a real beef patty, which is a price that many environment lovers are willing to pay. PETA named Beyond Meat as their company of the year in both 2013 and 2014. Today, Beyond Meat has almost 6,000 stores across the United States. Beyond Meat was based on the solid research done by Professor Fu Hung and Professor Harold Huff at the University of Missouri. This research allowed them to develop meat with less proteins that allowed the company to expand its product line. It was because of this solid groundwork that the company was able to raise approximately $72 million in funding by 2018. The company went public in 2019 with a $3.8 billion IPO. Number 8. Nobo Drops Another startup that's focusing on providing alternatives for single-use plastics is Nobo, which is looking to create a niche for sustainable packaging for personal care products and toiletries. Every household has shampoo, shaving gels, face wash, shower gels and deodorants, and other personal care products that come in packing that's simply not sustainable. Nobo Drops aims to create sustainable and biodegradable packaging for personal care products. Currently, they're producing coconut soap slips, body wash drops, woven jute travel bags, and cleansing kits. Nobo Drops have been developed to dissolve quickly in water, thus leaving no wastage behind. So far in the video, we've discussed inventions that are attempting to protect the planet from plastics and plastic-based products. The one factor that's holding back all of the inventions we've discussed so far is that they're all small-scale startups that haven't seen mass adoption. Drastic steps need to be taken to save the planet, and this simply can't be done by organizations running on donations and charity. Number 9. Pinatex Pinatex is a new substance that can be used as an alternative for leather. It was developed by Dr. Carmen Hijosa in London. Pinatex is made from cellulose fibers that are extracted from pineapple leaves. The idea for Pinatex came to Dr. Hihosa when she was working in the leather goods industry in the Philippines. She found out that the leather was not of a very high quality and the whole process of obtaining leather from animal hides was very unsustainable. While looking for a sustainable alternative for leather, Dr. Hihosa was inspired when she came across a traditional Philippine garment known as a barong tagalong. Dr. Hihosa took the idea and started to develop it synthetically. 
Pinatex is made entirely from the waste material created by the pineapple industry. According to rough estimates, the pineapple industry creates almost 40,000 tons of waste annually. These leaves are usually disposed of without being used or recycled. Pinatex, however, uses these leaves to create their leather-based products. Roughly 480 leaves can be used to create one square meter of Pinatex. The waste material left over after the creation of Pinatex can be further processed to be used as fertilizer. As compared to the production of animal leather, Pinatex does not use any toxic chemicals or heavy metals. The only downside to Pinatex is that it's not biodegradable. It uses some petroleum-based resins in its production that render it non-biodegradable. Number 10. Tesla's Solar Roof and Powerwall The Tesla Solar Roof is an innovative way to help people convert to renewable energy sources to power their homes. The Tesla Solar Roof replaces the roof tiles so that you no longer have to install clunky-looking solar panels. To date, more than 400,000 homes have been installed with Tesla Solar Roof, producing 3.6 gigawatts of clean energy that's not only powering homes but also being fed into the grid. The solar roof tiles replace the conventional roof tiles without affecting the look of your home. The solar roof tiles are also waterproofed to prevent any leakage or seeping issues during wet weather. The Tesla Powerwall can be used to store energy from the solar panels, solar roof, or the grid. Another awesome feature of the power wall is that it can also be integrated with other Tesla products with sensors to reduce the power consumption and the carbon footprint of your house. The power wall is going to be one part of the integrated systems that are going to work together in the future to minimize our energy consumption. This integrated system will consist of solar panels or solar roofs, power walls, smart vehicles and smart home appliances connected through a system called IoT. As compared to the inventions we discussed earlier, these technologies are seeing mass adoption and a lot of money is being injected to scale up the production of these integrated systems. Once people start to rely completely on solar and wind energy to power their homes, there's going to be a significant drop in the demand for oil and oil-based products, and that's the point when we'll see the effect of all the technologies and inventions discussed in this video. For now, we need to consciously make choices that don't end up damaging the environment. It's going to be a long struggle that each of us will have to be a part of. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell icon to stay updated whenever we release a new video. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.